Yeah, we probably wouldn't have done this uh, when I was in high school. This road, we were probably noped out of there. Uh-oh, what is that? There's something glowing up on the hill up there. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Beam and G Drive. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a little bit of a different episode. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a, we'll call it paranormal hunting here. Because we have a brand new map. Now, if you first look at this map, you probably think to yourself, this looks like a normal map, Komodo. What could possibly be wrong with it? Well, there's a lot of things that are going on with it, including haunted houses, ghost cars, witches, and some other stuff. So, we're going to be exploring this map here today. Uh, going to be a little bit different episode. We're not doing police chases or uh, crashes, uh, which we'll return with those really soon. I just think this map is really unique and I want to check it out. Which, by the way, the map's called Atlanto if you want to download it. I'll have a link in the description. So I haven't really actually gone around the map, I've just got the aerial views of it, so I don't know where everything is. So this is going to be like a paranormal scavenger hunt to try to find all the myths. I do have the myths pulled up on the, uh, the mod page itself, and there's quite a few things that we need to find. Now also, quick note, this map does have AI nodes and all of that good stuff, so it is like a normal Beam and G map. Say you don't want the spooky stuff, but I think for this episode, let's see what it looks like real quick. I feel like we should do this at night. That's something we've never done on a Beam and G episode, so let's go, whoop. Looking pretty good, pretty toasty. There we go, look at that. Might be a little dark, but I think for the most part, maybe we'll stay in this view. And the reason I picked out this truck is the whole fact it's got the overhead lights. So it's gonna give us a little more light, especially when we get into the forest. So anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Beam and G episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying the Beam and G series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's go exploring. Alright, so let's go ahead and get driving. This whole town looks abandoned. Like, there's no light in it whatsoever. I think the only light, and this is uh, kind of myth number one. Actually, look at that. The light poles and all that are kind of knocked over. And this is a little creepy. So, apparently the church here in this first town, it's uh, a little on the spooky side. For some reason, the, uh, the cross itself, it always glows. Look at this thing, it actually pulses and glows. That's a little bit on the creepy side. So yeah, you've got the old church there. That's probably the least creepy thing that I actually uh, read in the description, so... I think we need to go to the little bit more intense stuff. Now, think about it, if you downloaded this map, and say you didn't actually read the full description, you would have no clue about certain things that happen on this map, and I'm pretty sure some people are gonna get freaked out by it. Uh, let's see, we need to find, okay, so we're by the forest here, uh, let's turn, let's turn to the left here, I need to find a dirt road, which there's gotta be one around here somewhere, so, ah, look at this, alright, so, this is where it's gonna get a little bit, oh, that doesn't look good at all, yeah, it's gonna be pretty creepy out here, so we'll mix between this, uh, first person and third person view, that way we can, uh, look out for stuff, but, yeah, we'll see what we're gonna find here, uh, Okay, so we got stuff that's abandoned. Looks like buildings. There was a bus stop to the right side. Uh, I'm uh, I'm really kind of curious about the ghost car. That's one thing I uh, really, really want to listen for. All right, folks, we have a uh, fork in the road here. Um, you know what? We're gonna go to the left side. Now there is a full-blown haunted house somewhere in this map too. Uh, I think it would probably be in the woods somewhere, but I could be completely wrong. Also, by the way, this uh, road's kind of fun to drive. It's a nice off-road uh, road. Okay, coming up over here. Oh, this is nice and dark. So, there's another rumor somewhere's in the forest, and I'm hoping it's right off the road. There's something called the Blood Pond, which it's a, I'm assuming it's a pond of blood and potentially there's something that kills you which I don't think it kills you in the game but that's just the uh, the legend of it uh, okay man I used to do this stuff when I was a high schooler we used to always go out to old country roads and just cruise around and creep ourselves out half the time and uh oh wait something's on the left side hold on what is that let's go ahead uh that that wouldn't be the haunted house would it uh, hold on. Random creepy house? Uh, wait. No. I don't think this is it. 
Wait, what's that sound? Hold on. I'm hearing something. Uh, why is the... Why is the house laughing? Is it the house or is it in the woods beyond it? Uh... Look around, okay. Is there anything in the house? I can promise you the... I can promise you I don't think there's any jump scares. I don't think that's really possible in Beam and G, but... I don't know. Where's that laughing coming from? Okay, so yeah, that's definitely probably the witch's house. Uh... You know what? I don't really need that in my life right now. We're gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead and back off here. Yeah, I, I faintly heard that the, the truck that we're in is fairly loud. I should probably do some of this in third person. That way it's not as loud. We could always go first person inside the cab. Uh, I don't know if you would hear the outside noises that well, though. All right, let's continue to move here. All right, so we're coming up to a... What is this? Oh, let's pull up in here. Looks like a sawmill, okay? I don't think I read anything about a sawmill here, so I'm pretty sure this is really just a normal sawmill. We don't have to worry about anything here. Uh, let's go ahead and whip it around here. Uh, wait, okay, how many gates are there? I think it's just this front gate, so if we go right back out, uh, we end up on the dirt road here. All right, so let's turn over here. All right, let's keep looking here. Actually, let's do a visual check. Do we see anything in the distance? Uh, I think we need to look out for things that are glowing, so I don't see anything from here. All right, let's keep moving. This is a really, really creepy road. Uh, I don't like this road at all, so... Okay, keep looking out for houses. Uh, look out for cars. Uh, okay, somebody's really been cutting down the forest on the left side. Actually, stop here. See anything? No, nothing yet. It's gonna make it a little bit harder at night, but I figured this is gonna be pretty awesome to do it like this. Wait, okay. What are we coming up to here? There's a fork in the road this way. Alright, let's just keep going forward. That way we cover everything. Look at that. Is that a bridge? That looks like a bridge that's fallen down. Wait, does that mean there's a road up there? Uh... It's a good question. Okay, let's just keep moving. No, this is fine. All right, look around. All right, we got to be getting out to one of the main roads again here soon. Uh, it's a little troubling that I haven't found anything else yet, though. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. All right, so we just hopped over the main road. All right, so I guess we're still going this way. Uh, well, all right. You know, let's just stick to the dirt roads. I think most of the spooky stuff's supposed to be out in the forest here. Holy man, that kind of scared me because I thought we were going to die there for a second. Alright, look around. Are we seeing anything else? Ah, uh, pretty quiet. Uh-oh. What the heck is this? Wait. Uh, is that a car? Yeah, it is. Okay, would this be kind of in the vicinity of the ghost car? So it talked about crashes happening and the whole fact that you could still hear the honks uh, of the horns. So... I don't hear anything. Alright, well, maybe it's just an abandoned car. I'm not really sure. Alright, let's keep moving here. Oh, boy. Alright, so we're back out to Main Road. But we're by a, a really big hill. I don't wonder if there's a way up this somewhere. Alright, let's go this way. See if we'll run into another town or something. Look at this. We have another town. This thing is... Look how dark it is. Like, that's fairly creepy. Uh, no gas stations. No lights whatsoever. Uh, wait... What's this? Uh, oh, check this road out. That doesn't look very safe. All right, let's go up it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have done this uh, when I was in high school. This road, we were probably noped out of there. Uh-oh, what is that? There's something glowing up on the hill up there. What the heck? Okay. Um, all right, let's keep moving. All right, wait. What is it? I wonder if that's the house. That might be the, the haunted house, Han. Wait, where's this road taking us? This doesn't even seem like it's going in the same direction. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's turning right. Oh, oh doing a little off-roading here. All right. Holy man. That is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, let's get over here. Uh, man, this is like an off-roading episode, too. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fun. All right. Uh, do we have a driveway for the haunted house? What are we going to see out here? That's the question. Oh. You know, 
like I was saying, if you didn't read the description, if you were driving around and you saw that, what's that sound? Uh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, if your house is screeching and you hear screams coming from it. Wait, what is this? Okay, look how this is on a hill back here. Yeah, if you're on one of those roads, say this road here, all you could see when you're passing by is red lights in the distance. I like this. This is really actually kind of neat. Uh, very unique. So yeah, I think it just plays noises. I don't see anything, but nonetheless, pretty creepy. Alright, you know, let's get the heck out of here for something decides to come out of the woods and get us. Uh-oh, hold on, I think I'm out of... Okay, I think the road's to the right. Oh, there's the road there. Oh, and I see the road right ahead of us. We're just gonna cut through the, uh, through the forest here. This is fine. Alright, so I think this is gonna lead us right back out to that town. So there's a couple more things we need to find. There's a blood pond. We still need to find the ghost car. And then, uh, I think that might be it. I'll have to check, see if there's anything else out here. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so I don't think there's anything to the creepy town to the right of us, so let's keep wait. Is that a oh is that oh, that might be a pond there, huh? Okay, that looks like a pond, but that doesn't appear to be blood colored, so I'm assuming that's not the pond. Uh hold on, let's go over it real quick. No. No, this isn't the blood pond. Okay. Let's keep moving here. All right, so we need to keep vigilant here. Keep searching. I think I can see. Wait, is that the cross? Okay, try to figure out where we are. Hold on, let's go F8 real quick. I believe I'm gonna zoom in on it. I believe that's the glowing cross way across the map there. Um. Okay, so up that way was where the haunted house was. Okay, so I'm a little bit lost. Uh, let's keep looking around here. There's got to be another dirt road here somewhere. Uh, something's bound to lead off. Um, keep looking. I'm waiting for there to be something in the road. That'd be kind of creepy. Uh, look around. Anything? Uh, wait, something's in the road. Wait, what is that? Wait, is that a ramp? Oh, heck yeah, it's a kicker ramp. On. <laughs> <laughs> it's beam and G. We gotta crash something today. <laughs> oh, okay. We definitely have to go back to that during the uh, during the daylight and hit that again. Holy man, we cleared a long ways there. <laughs> All right, so we'll just reset there. All right, let's keep vigilant here. Look off the sides. Hold on, turn those lights back on. Uh, look around. Look around not seeing anything. I'm tempted to cheat here in a second and just look up and see if I can see something. Uh, go around that way. Actually, let's just beam our spotlights. Okay. Uh, let's turn them this way. Wait. We can get up on that hill and check. That's probably going to be the best place to do this. Alright. Look around. Look around. Mm, nope. I'm not seeing anything here. Alright. Let's get up on the hill real quick. And then we're going to look off it this way. This will probably be the best, or at least one of the best vantage points of this map. Uh oh, oh, don't fall off it. Okay. Park it here. Probably going to prop up in free cam a little bit. That way I can look around and see if we see anything. Okay, so let's go F8. All right, so if we go up a little bit, and I see anything in the distance. Uh. Oh, that's definitely the church there. Wait, look. Right there. That's a... Uh, that's gotta be the blood pond. That is definitely a red pond. That was just right off the road. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Make sure I can track exactly where that is. Okay, it's on this right side somewhere. Uh, I would assume there's a... Is there a dirt road that goes to it? Oh, man. I don't think we would have found that unless we would have gotten into free cam. Can you even see it from the road? No, there's a... There's a blood pond over here somewhere. Okay. I don't see it anymore. Oh, and it's got to be, it's like literally right, oh, I see a, a glimpse of it, yeah, good luck seeing that from the road, okay, can we, oh, man, how do we even get to that, hold on, I think maybe we can pull off somewhere, maybe right, okay, it looks like a little bit of an opening over here, all right, let's go back in a full-blown off-road mode, here we go, oh, 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 that's a tree right there, that's a tree, that, that is indeed a tree, I'm probably stuck here, wow, that was embarrassing, uh, are we stuck? Yep. 
I think we just killed the engine. Let's grab a node here. Uh, there we go. Crank it back up. All right, we're good. Okay, squeeze through these trees. Uh, go up here. Okay, go around this way. Oh, this might be the opening. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, we don't want to fall in the pond. Oh, there it is. There's... That's got to be it. That's the blood pond right there. On. All right, let's park it. Leave the headlights lit up. Now, it says there's something here, and I don't know what that means. Man, this kind of reminds me of Beware, where you're driving around and trying to evade those people, but when they get out of the car, they can chase you down. That would be awesome to see here in Beeman G. Well, it is indeed a blood pond. There's definitely blood all in the pond. Is there something around here I'm supposed to see, though? Hold on, let's go down in the pond. Uh, what the heck are these? Well, there's something down here. I, I can't really make out what that is. What do you guys think that is? Kind of actually looks like a couple trash bags. It's really hard to see. Uh, okay. We pretty much lit up the whole pond. Is there anything in the woods around it? I don't think so. Maybe it's just literally a blood pond. And maybe the uh, the warnings about it are uh, false. There's nothing in the bushes, is there? No, I don't see anything over here. No, nope, it indeed looks like a bloody pond. That's still neat, though, but I just don't see how you would have seen that from the road. Uh, not less by luck. I mean, the road is technically right there, but, like, I only caught a glimpse of it because of the trees. So, definitely wasn't the easiest thing to find. Alright, so we are lacking a ghost car, and that's probably the one that's got me intrigued the most. I think it just backed up into a tree. Alright, so we are up by the sawmill again. So, there was a fork in the road down here where we went straight. And we never went left, so I'm going to assume that potentially uh, that's where we need to be. Oh, up, 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 up. Okay, wasn't there a car down here somewhere? Man, I would swear this has got to be right around the place where the ghost car is. Okay, look around. Look around. Okay, just listen. Not hearing anything. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, wait. Hear that? Holy man, I actually got chills there for a second. Hunt. Yeah, there's a there's a horn. Yeah, you can hear it. It's somewhere's over here. That's a little creepy. I don't on the sounds getting louder. Yeah, it's getting quieter. Uh yeah, the sound. Wow, it's weird because, like, at certain angles, you know, we passed by this area earlier. I don't wonder if we heard it then. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to actually have to go back and look at the footage. When we passed by the sawmill and came down this road, we passed by this exact site that you would have heard this on. Yeah, I don't see a car, though. I think that abandoned car is way up the street. Uh, and unless there's another one. You know, I think we're going to light it up because I believe that was the last spooky thing uh, we were supposed to find here, so let's go ahead and light it back up. Do we see a car out here, or is it really just a ghost car? Wait, look, there it is! That's gotta be it right there. That is the ghost car. Is there anything in it? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so weird. So it wasn't the other abandoned car. It was this one out in the middle of the, uh, the forest here. Holy man, that was kinda cool. That is a really unique map. Like, it's not necessarily a normal Beam and G episode where we're crashing, high-speed thrills. I mean, there was quite a bit of off-roading, but I thought it'd be neat to just check this thing out and check out all the myths. So, there was one last thing that I did want to do on this map real quick, and uh, I think I want to hit it during the day, and I want to hit it at high speed. Alright, so there was a rollover ramp over here that I think I want to hit at speed, so... Let's go ahead and cap this episode off here. There it is. Oh, dear. This is going to hurt. <laughs> oh, the blood pond's over there somewhere. Oh, oh man. Guess we're going to add another uh, one to the collection of ghost cars out here. Holy man. That was a that was a violent impact. That was pretty impressive. On. There we go. <laughs> we are now a ghost car. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Beam and G Drive. Actually, that's a view of the ghost pond, uh, or the blood pond, I should say, during the day. Huh. That is a cool little map here. Uh, definitely go check it out. I have it linked in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the Beam and G series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Beam and G Drive.